Welcome to our lecture online. In this problem, we're given two vectors, vectors A and vector B in three dimensions. And we're supposed to find the angle between each of those two vectors and the x-axis. So how do we do that? Well, direction cosines comes to mind. For example, if we have something in three dimensions, and let's say we have some vector, in some arbitrary direction, let's call it vector, uh, let's see, uh, hmm. how about d, vector d? All right, because I want it to be different from what we have up here. So how do we find the angle between that particular vector and x? So let's call that angle alpha. So what we could do is we could find the direction cosine. We can find the cosine of alpha, and that is defined by taking the x component of the vector and dividing it by the magnitude of the vector. So I can maybe write the magnitude like that. And that'll give us the direction cosine. Then next, to find the angle, we take the inverse cosine of that. So d sub x over d, and that's how we find the vector alpha for a particular vector, for any vector for that matter. And so using the same principle, we're going to do that over here. So what we need to do is first find the magnitudes of the two vectors. So the magnitude of A is going to be equal to the square root of the individual components squared. A sub Y squared, A sub X squared plus A sub Y squared plus A sub Z squared. Add them all up, take the square root, that gives us the magnitude of the vector. So in this case, this is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus a negative 5 squared. So that is equal to... 16 plus 9 is 25, plus 25, that would be the square root of 50. We do the same for vector b, that's equal to the square root of b sub x squared, plus b sub y squared, plus b sub z squared, and so this becomes equal to negative 1 squared, plus 2 squared, plus 6 squared. And so that's 36 plus 4, that's 40, plus 1, that's 41. That's equal to the square root of 41. So now we have the magnitudes of our two vectors. Now we find the direction cosine. So we can say that the direction cosine for vector A is equal to the x component of A divided by the magnitude. So in this case, the x component would be 3, and the magnitude is the square root of 50. Do the same for the vector b, the direct and cosine for vector b is equal to, that would be a sub, or not b sub x, divided by the magnitude b, b sub x is equal to negative 1, and divided by the magnitude, which is the square root of 41. And now we're ready to find the individual angles. So alpha sub a is equal to the inverse cosine of 3 divided by the square root of 50. Let's find out what that's equal to. So we have 3 divided by, take the square root of 50, take the inverse cosine of that, and we get 64.9 degrees. We do the same for the b vector. Inverse cosine of would be negative 1 over the square root of 41. Let's see what that is equal to. So we have 1, negative 1, divided by, take the square root of 41, inverse cosine, and that would be an angle of 98.98, I'll make it 99.0, 99.0 degrees. And so here are the two angles with respect to the x-axis for both of these vectors. And that is how it's done.